All right. How's it going, beautiful people? Bam! The beautiful people of the Instagram. This is Jose Trujillo. I happen to be the world's greatest living artist. I just don't know why. I didn't choose the art life. The art life chose moi. Bam! Bam! Like Bruce Lee. <laughs> the one inch punch. Ah. Or what is it? Yeah, one inch punch. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to paint something awesome. I'm going to paint some irises just because I feel like Van Gogh today. I'm going to, I'm going to do a, I'm going to pull a Van Gogh. Hopefully only with painting, not with marketing myself. And, and on and on and on. Hopefully only in the painting. So here we go. Some irises. Bam, 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 bam. So, people have been asking me, right? Guys, put your comments, please. I can read them. I'm going to be reading them. I'm going to be looking at the phone and whatnot as I'm doing this awesome live stream. People have been asking me, dude, what's up? Uh, I can't seem to get uh, loose, right? I want to learn how to paint loose like you. I can't seem to do it. So, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been trying to put it in words. I've been trying to figure out how I can express it better because sometimes I feel like like the message doesn't come across, right? Um, it's very esoteric, guys. That's why a lot of people, that's why people like Osho and a lot of uh, like the wise men, right? Uh, and wise artists, wise in, in terms of, of how they paint and whatnot. Uh, they talk about it in a, from a very spiritual uh, point. Now, you may be doing something spiritual and you don't know you're doing it, if, you, if you've got the hang of it already. I've been trying to look for ways to express it, but it's, it becomes difficult. Um, maybe I don't know how to express it correctly, or maybe the, the right words are just, you know, not necessarily... Like, there's no such thing as right words, you just kind of have to figure it out, you have to, you have to do it, but I can point to it. The whole, the whole deal, guys, is to drop expectation. The whole deal is dropping expectation. Like, it's not, it's not how you paint. It's not what you paint. It's not, it's none of that. And I will do some one-on-one, uh, -on -one as, as I've been telling you guys. I'm going to be doing some one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching uh, for artists. And I'm probably going to do one of, those, one of those things before I start charging anyone. I'm going to do one of those 15-minute free consulting things or something like that. Just to... Uh, just to get you guys to see if there, if you guys find any value with me or not. But here it is. It's dropping expectation, guys. When you're painting, we're trying to do so many things at once, right? We're trying to match color. We're trying to match uh, object, right? Uh, volume. We're trying to use the right brush. We're trying. It's all these pedals and levers and things we're twisting at the same time. So many things are happening at the same time, and. The reason I believe, and this is, this is my belief, right? Uh, the reason I believe people can't seem to get loose and, and, and do their, their, their deal, uh, painting in a, in a way that, that you feel freedom. I'm not saying painting like me, because that's, that's, that would be dumb. Like everybody paints the way they paint. I'm just talking about feeling the freedom to paint and not feeling the burden of I'm doing something wrong or things is not things are not working for me. I don't feel inspired and on and on and on. All the kind of BS we tell each other or ourselves more likely. Uh, the 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 commentary, the negative commentary that may be running through our minds about ourselves when we are in the creative process, when we are creating artwork or whatnot. I believe the whole damn deal is because we have all these expectations and the little Ego, the little person in, in our head, right, wants to meet them, right? Call it, call it, call it whatever you want. Call it the ego, call it the devil, call it whatever you want, however you can identify it. it, it it's, it's trying to make sense of it, right? It's trying to control. So we try to control everything, and then... So, so even if you paint great, I don't know if you see these artists that are like extremely great at painting 
They have a technical aspect down, but for some reason they can't seem to get to market or they can't seem to create uh, sufficient work, right? Amounts of work where they're growing or they can't seem to, to create uh, uh, Just a second guys I hope that you guys are like Watching the je ne sais quoi still? Okay, so can't create enough enough momentum for themselves. And I believe it's because again, it's because they have all these expectations. And I mean, just all you have to do really, you, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Don't don't take my word for it, as a matter of fact. Don't take my word for it. Uh Look at what Monet talked about it. Every time you paint something, he said, that's why I tell you guys to, to, to read about the artists, right? To, to read, not just look at the paintings. That's very helpful. But look, read, read about their, 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 not their life and this and that, I, I guess. But what I'm trying to say is figure out their work ethic. Figure out how they work. Figure out how they, how they showed up. Monet used to say, when I paint something or when you, when you paint, you know, when you paint, he, 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 he said this. It was, it was very zen for this guy, right? When you paint, he said, don't think about, uh, don't name what you're painting. Look, look at that, look at that um, explanation. Don't name what you're painting. That's extremely zen. You know, that's extremely zen. Uh, it's, it's, it's very spiritual. Don't name what you're painting, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Zen. Or I'm not claiming any of that. I don't. I don't. I don't follow stuff like that, uh, religions and stuff like that, or traditions. But what I'm saying is, regardless of where you're at in in whatever spiritual practice or or no spiritual pra practice, whatever you do, it's it's very peaceful to drop expectations. It's extremely peaceful, and if you just if you just hear what Monet said, you know, if you just read that. And it wasn't just Monet, it was all these cats, right? I'm always, every day I'm telling you guys, look, Degas said, only when I don't know what I'm doing is that I'm doing something good. He's talking about dropping expectation. The whole damn game is dropping expectation. You will become, I'm not saying that you're going to paint better. That's not what I'm saying. You will become free to paint at the level you are. That's what I'm trying to say. You will, you will be granted freedom because a lot of artists, we don't have freedom. We're, we're upset. You know, a lot of artists are like, man, I can't paint well. I can't paint well. I can't, I can't create my artwork. What's going on with me? Uh, I don't feel inspired. I have an artist block. The colors are off. Blah, 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 blah. All those things, all those things is because you have no freedom. You haven't experienced freedom. And it's because, it's because you may be stuck in your head trying to, trying to match something. Right? And every time you try to match something, it won't it won't come out because because the, the, the mind is too limited to your to your ability in comparison to your ability. The mind is too limited. The, the mind can't couldn't couldn't figure out how to get something done. That's why I always say painting is very, very effing spiritual. And and if you want to make a living as an artist, you gotta get that, that aspect handled. The aspect of yourself handled. Because otherwise you will not show up to paint. You only show up to paint every now and then. You know. Or you only show up to paint when you. You know. Like you won't grow as an artist. Is what I'm trying to say. And if you don't grow as an artist. You, you might. You might make a living at it. I'm not saying you won't. But you won't. You won't fulfill that. Right. Your, your, your thing. You won't fulfill your true boys. Your. Your. Whatever, whatever you're trying to convey in your work. And, and it's because we, we're tied to these expectations again, right? So, guys, if you, again, if you feel like, man, I don't know what to do. I'm not doing it right. You're, you're not doing anything wrong. Now, if, if you're having a hard time because you don't know how to paint, uh, it's okay. Just keep practicing. <laughs> but if you're having a hard time because, because you already know how to paint, but you're still having a hard time with yourself... You need to drop those expectations. Those expectations are going to kill you, and I mean that figuratively, of course. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna kill your process. They're gonna they're they're not gonna allow you to to flourish as an artist and 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 see beyond, right? 
But those, for me, those are my, those are my, my, my flowers, right? These are my, my iris flowers. Someone else could be like, nope, they're not. But for me, they are, right? For me, they are. And, and, maybe, and maybe even for someone else who, 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 might, who might enjoy what I'm doing. Maybe even for someone else, they're the iris flowers, right? Just like not everyone liked Van Gogh's paintings when he painted them or after, or people still don't like them. Uh, there's a bunch of people that are like, dude, I see that. I relate. I understand it. So you're free to, to, to state yourself, right? To, to show your voice. And that's what I'm trying to, to, uh, to share with you guys. Every time I do one of these videos, it's not just to teach you how to paint. It's not just to like, oh, look, no, I'm going to be doing some, some videos for that. Uh, some, some actual tutorials where I, where I just paint and I'm not telling you guys all this bluff. All this fluff or whatever, all this chit chat about about losing expectation, and you know, I feel like I'm giving you. I'm, I feel personally like I'm giving you guys more by telling you guys to be free to paint than for me to be like, oh look, this is how you shadow. Anyone can tell you how to shadow, but not everyone, not every artist out there is going to tell you. Look, here's a secret to learn to 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 painting to your fullest expression. Drop, drop all expectation. Allow the painting to be just, just one brush stroke after another. If you're thinking about the color and you're, and you're paralyzing or you're worrying, if you think that it, that it deserves to go, if you, if you think that, it, that the plant is, is green, don't put green, put blue. Like just move, you know? This is, this is the ultimate thing. This is why people look at me and they're like, I don't know how you do it. I don't know why you keep painting. Because I'm, it's a spiritual practice. Every day I'm trying to, I'm trying more and more to drop the expectation, not name it. I know that I'm painting irises in the back of my mind, but but here I have no idea what I'm doing. I just told myself I'm gonna paint irises, but I cannot clinch to irises because then I can't, I can't create this beauty. If I clinch to irises, I'm going to get all frustrated about it, you know, and I'm not gonna be able to create the painting. So I only, I only say I'm going to paint irises, but I'm not going to cling to it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to do that because then I'm going, to, I'm going to cut the flow. Every time that we do that, we cut the flow. And you don't want to cut the flow. Because the flow, the, your, your, whatever you practice, is much more intelligent than, than what your mind is telling you. That's why people are like, listen to your heart, listen to your heart, listen to your heart. The whole thing about listen to your heart, it's so damn true because it's, 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 your heart is, your heart is activity and your mind is trying to, is trying to paralyze you. It's trying to, it's trying to stop you, you know, and it's not, and it's not because it's, 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 it's messed up or it's bad. It's trying to protect you because the mind doesn't have the, the, the cojones to go to the unknown. The mind can't, but the body knows what to do. See, if I listen to my mind, I would never do this. I would be like, oh my God, no, they're going to think I'm crazy. No, you know, just listen to the heart. The heart knows what to do. You practice enough. You know what to do. There we go. Check it out. Something wants to be born and it's born. And it's my irises. By the way, this awesome, what is it? 12 by 16 painting is going to be in my uh, eBay store. Those of you who are like, dude, I have to have it, then, then you know where to find me. Check it out. Bam, 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 bam. Man, I'm good. I'm telling you guys, I don't call myself the world's greatest living artist just because. <laughs> someone, someone the other day was like, man, you're not the world's greatest living artist. I was like, I am, son. <laughs> Check it out. Ooh la la. Guys, you guys have been an awesome crowd. Thank you so much. I did not choose the art life. The art life chose me. <laughs> Thank you so much. The art and soul shop. The art and soul shop says, I love what you're sharing. It's so freeing. You know, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. I love that. It's just, it's just freeing ourselves, freeing ourselves. You know, so many people can teach you how to paint. So many people can show you, like, the perfect color mixes. 
so many people can, can, can talk about A, B, and C about artwork and in a much better way than I could ever possibly try to explain it. By the way, I'm going to try to explain it because I'm going to be giving some, some, uh, some classes actually from one of, one, of those, one of those awesome websites where you can do that. But just because I've been running away from that because I'm not, not, I'm not a teacher, but, but I guess some people think I am. So, so I'm going to, uh, I'm just an artist, right? Just, I just create artwork. But some people are like, dude, I want to learn how to do what you do. Cool. I, I don't always recommend it because I'm like, don't get stuck in one thing because then you're not going to grow, right? You're not going to, you're not going to get your, your je ne sais quoi. And the whole purpose is to, is to, is to, you know, like Mary Cassatt didn't paint like the guy, right? She got her own, her own je ne sais quoi, her own thing, right? Because we all come, we all come with our own set of eyes. We all come with our own set, with our own heart. And, and it would be a, 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 a sadness, uh, a, 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 True uh, melancholy to throw that away, to throw a gift, right? Your, your gift as an artist, like your gift, your gift. <laughs> it's your perspective. It's your view on the world. And I think that that's so awesome. That's why I wanted to focus on that. I didn't want to focus on here's how you mix colors. Here's how you paint. I'm going to teach some of that stuff. And, I, you know, as I mentioned, I'm going to do that in, 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 in a website that people do that kind of stuff. But, but that's because some people want the technical stuff. And I totally understand it. I want the technical stuff too. I love it. But what is more important, I think, is just, it's just like, okay, learn the techn technical stuff. That's what Picasso said, right? Break the rules. Breaking the rules doesn't mean like, oh, I don't care. It means, no, it means let's just, let's just free ourselves. Open, open up. You know, we came through this world in a state of freedom, Right? It was, it was, an, it was, a, it was outflow. It was outflow. Here we go. You know, we, we, we were sent here that way. And we came out this way, right? Outflow. And when we perform, we're always like, we're always going back. When we're, when we're trying to create artwork, we go like this. Oh man. Oh, it's, it's a pullback all the time. It's a pullback. It's never like, take that. You know, it's never in, you know, it's never in. And that's what I want to share with you guys. It's in, go into it, go into it. Anyways, my name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Bam, there's my irises. Man, Van Gogh, Van Gogh would feel a little bit jello right now. <laughs> Van Gogh would feel jello. <laughs> Van Gogh would be hate me because he ate me. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for the hearts. I, I appreciate the hearts. It make they, they, the hearts make my little Mexican heart happy. <laughs> Check the texture on that, guys. Just check, check, check out that texture. I love that. Look at that. Super juicy. You know, and I love the colors. And I have some paintings where I don't, I don't do the bright, the whole colorist thing. Uh, it's, it's kind of rare because I'm kind of used to doing, doing the whole colorist thing. Look at the palette. But uh, it's a table, yeah. Huh? I'm a boss, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a table uh, palette. This is one of the things I'm gonna be teaching in my classes too: how to set up your studio and and get yourself some boss stuff, right? Now, a lot of people think that being a boss is the easel. It's not the easel. It's the palette. It's the palette, guys. It's not the easel. You want to have you want to have you you can use any easel. It doesn't matter. Where, where you want to boss up is your palette because it allows you range. It allows you to move, right? You can even use the wall. You don't even have to use an easel, anything. Anyways, you don't have to have like a table palette. Uh, this is not expensive at all. This is just a desk. This is just a tempered glass desk. Oh, look at my brushes. I got to clean those brushes. They're, they're super dirty. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And by the way, uh, this, is, this is what I do for a living. So I have to pitch at the end of my video. Stay for the pitch. This is going to be on eBay. And I'm going to auction it for 99 cents. The auction is going to start at 99 cents. No reserve. Uh, and if you win it, you win it. And you win it at whatever price your little heart desires. So thank you so much. Click the link on my profile to go check it out. I love it. And guys, stay cool. Love, love thyself. Love others. But uh, as I always say, 
You can't love others if you can't love thyself first. Love yourself first. Let's 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 go in first so that we can go out. Let's go in and out. <laughs> Take care guys. Adios.